Welcome back to TNBlue tutorial series. In this video, let's learn how to use the additional option feature. Firstly, let's take a look at our campaign from TNBlue demo store. In this campaign, I have set up multi-level selection for layers using additional options. Skin color selection will be used as an example in this video. As you can see, when I choose a skin color option, it will change the skin color of the girl on the live preview image. So, the additional option is used when you add an extra level of selection before letting your customer choose the official layer image. Okay. Let's begin with the first step of creating additional option. Go to Assets then open Additional Options page. I will create a new category named Skin Color. In this category, I will add two options which are Light and Dark. Then upload thumbnails images for each option. If you don't want to use thumbnail, you can set a color for each option to show the options on store as color. The second step is set up clip arts category for each color skin. I will create a parent category in advance and name it graduate robe. Then create two children categories for two skin colors. One for the light skin and one for the dark skin. On the categories list, you can see that there are two subcategories for each skin color. After preparing all clip art categories, I will set up the additional options and conditional logic in artwork editor. Click on new artwork button. This artwork size will be imported from the print area of the acrylic plaque product base. In artwork editor, Click on this plus icon button and select the additional option to add a virtual layer. Click on the pencil icon and name this option as choose skin color. Then I will select skin color from the category list below. In this example, we will choose default option as light. In the next step, I will show you how to display the personalization options depending on selected skin color. Firstly, I will upload a body layer in dark color skin. On this body layer, click on the pencil icon. Let's focus on the personalization setting first, I will choose one clip art category for this layer. And then in the clip art setting, I will select the dark skin clip art category that I've prepared from step 2. Moving on to the conditional settings, I will set up to show this dark skin layer and its option when the skin color options value match with dark. This action will make the dark skin clip arts only show up on personalization form when customer selects the dark value. Follow the same steps for the light skin color. I will upload a light skin body layer. Then add the personalization option by choosing light skin color clip art category. Moving on to the condition settings, this layer will show up when the skin color options value match with light. For this light skin layer, I will enable the show this layer on first load toggle. On the product page, this light color body layer will be displayed on artwork from the beginning when customers have not select any options yet. Finally, to complete this artwork, I've added some other personalized text layers and personalized clip arts to the hair layer. Remember to check the position of each options and reorder it if you want with the preview options on the right. Next, I will show you how to hide the personalization form before customer choosing any templates like this. 
Here I've created a similar template for the man within the same artwork. From this template settings icon, I will choose to display template options as drop down list and label it as choose an option. Then go to Extras, open Product Page Settings and disable the Auto Show options of the first template toggle. Forms will not show personalization options until customers select a template. The last step is launching a campaign from Artwork and Product Base. I will create a new campaign called Personalized Graduate Print. and choose the acrylic platic from the product base list. Then select the artwork I've created for each print area. Now, the campaign is ready to be launched. Go ahead and click on the launch button on the top left. I will click on view to see how it displays on my storefront. You can apply the same technique to set up additional options for other cases. Like choosing hair colors before hairstyle. Check out the overall instruction and our demo campaign in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe TN Blue YouTube channel to get more tutorial videos in the future. See you in the next video.